sometimes when you're right, you're right. It's not your grambling. Grambling call five. And now they're on to the next big fight. Against Big Zach Eady. Big boy. Big boy in the paint for Purdue. Grambling and Ville, the second half of this game. Well, I like to call it the bottom Zion offense. Head down, attack the paint, balls to the wall, nothing else matter. They had four or five different players attacking. Wasn't just the same person. That way, nobody can rest on defense. I love when they put Montana State's best player and said, screw it, you're going to work, boy. He was second leading uh second leader in the country in steals and they still said uh-uh, come get this work if you were on one of these boys they were going to take you to the paint montana state like most teams now they're stuck in that steph curry mode they tried to live on the three-point shot okay it did good at first until rambling said screw it locked the defense up on them and wore their ass out and with overtime, of course, you know, Grambling had the last laugh. It wasn't because they had the bigs out there doing what they're supposed to do. The bigs were just up there getting up space, getting rebounds every now and then. The people flying around getting blocks, and they attacked the paint. They made the center for Montana State, who's nowhere near as good as Zach Eden is. Let's get that out the way. No one on Grambling State's uh, team or Montana State's team is anywhere as good as Zach Eady. But they made him work. And once he worked, they read off what he was doing. If he tried to close the paint because this guard got beat off the dribble, they passed the ball to his man for a layup. They went for layups every time. They missed layups, they got put back dunks. It's the bonsai offense. It's basically, I will die to get to that goal. And that's what Grambling State did. I was thoroughly impressed, especially because I kind of saw it coming. Grambling State did not come out here just to be, oh, it's our first time playing in the tournament. Woo hoo hoo, we gonna be. No. They came out there on a mission. And their mission was to set it off and let. Montana State know. Let the world know. We may be from HBCU. We may be from the swag. But you're going to recognize us. You're going to acknowledge us as being one of the top 64 teams out here. So now, they're in the top 64. Now what are they going to have to do? The same offense they had in the second half? Bring that from the opening tip. Bring that in, attack, attack, attack. The only difference is, when you get them big men who do those rolls off of those pick and rolls, pick and slips, and they got a six foot one guard on them, in the paint, get the ball to the big guy. Let them work in the middle. You're gonna get some points as well as rebounds. Cause you feed the big man, he will protect you. And next game, you're going to need some help. If everything works out, 100% works out every way that Grambling wants it to work out. Grambling can win by two. If everything goes the way everybody else is saying, this will be a long night. Well, folks, I'm putting my money on Grambling. Why not, right? Someone have to be the first one from HBCU to take out a one seed. I'm out.